All right, guys, today's March 15th. Uh, in this video, I want to compare the five-speed base model K-series transmission to the Element five-speed all-wheel drive transmission. Uh, so here it is right here. Previous videos, I did pull the motor, but I want to show you guys uh, the difference here. There's nothing super crazy. I have been... Uh, Watching a bunch of videos lately, Hasports has recently came out with a very good video on the all-wheel drive transmissions. So that has helped. But I am looking here at the transmissions. And remember, I haven't removed the 5-speed off of the, the front-wheel drive 5-speed off of the spare motor yet. Uh, I need to remove it so I could use those bolts to bolt this one onto my spare motor. Um... So as you guys can see, it's the same here, same, that little bracket, or no, it's the clutch slave cylinder. This little bracket's still here. Uh, this is the big difference, but I'll come back to that. There's a difference here. I'll mention that in a minute. This sensor is the same as this one over here. The brackets are a little bit different. I'm not sure which one I'm going to need to use, but I might just steal those ones off that transmission. But, um, and the vehicle speed sensor, that is the big difference. Um, other than that, the transfer case is there. Remember, you will need the half-port all-wheel drive uh, rear mount. I still have to order that, the one that came off the car right there, I can no longer use. So I still have to order the correct mount. Um, let's see, where do I want to start with this? I'm pretty sure this will be all fine. It's pretty nasty inside. You guys have seen previous videos of me trying to clean it up. I did replace the axle seals. Um, so those should be all good. And trying to think where I want to start and then you guys know this bracket is right here little bit nope it's about the same uh, okay so let's jump into the vehicle speed sensor the front wheel drive is ran off that and the CRV all wheel drive is also VSS the vehicle speed sensor so you should have no issues using the CRV all wheel drive if you're using the element like myself right here is where the vehicle speed sensor would go, but there is no gear in there for that to have any reading, okay? So that is the big difference. So I need to convert my harness to a counter shaft speed sensor, which if I am correct, you guys let me know in the comments, is this guy right here. So my plan is to cut the VSS plug, add on the CSS plug, the counter shaft speed sensor. And let me show you guys this message from Brian. Brian from Hasport, he's probably one of the biggest helps in this community. If you guys have a question, he is the guy to go to because he will help you guys out. He will answer questions. He's super nice super genuine um i'm a big i'm a big fan of going to brian for any questions but let me turn this off so i can get my screen back on so i can show you guys what brian said all right hey guys i was messaging brian and that is what he said to do so i'll leave it there for about five more seconds so you guys need to do what he said to create your, to um, be able to read uh, the counter shaft speed sensor, which I might be making a video on that later with a friend that might come over and help me. So that would be in a later video on how to do that. But for now, I could still drive the car just fine, I'm sure, without the speed sensor. So I'm not super concerned about it at this moment. So the other thing is starter. Uh, the front wheel drive and all wheel drive starters are the same. So I won't have any issues with that. 
Um, let me see what else I can mention. Oh, yes. So, let's look at this guy here. This part, I don't know exactly what it's called, linkage, or not the shift linkage, but um, I'm sure it's important to the all-wheel drive system or to get the car into gear. But on this, uh, this is held in by one bolt, okay? On the five speed, it has three bolts. So I plan on moving this whole piece onto this transmission. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Also, on the mount, I removed the bolts so I could get the thread pitch, but that one was all on there, all janky. It's like they forced the bolt down on there. Uh, and this one, I pulled a bolt to make sure it threads into the all-wheel drive transmission, which it does. And this one has two studs, which is, I had to go get a bolt for it, um, or nut, I should say. Uh, the nut was M12 by... 1.25 thread pitch. I think that's what I ended up grabbing. Pretty sure. But, yeah. So those are the big, big differences. It was just this sensor and this little issue right here. So right now, I think I'm going to pull that off and see how easy it is. So I could transfer this onto this transmission here and go from there but it looks the same uh, so I don't think I'll have any crazy issues I just don't know how to pull this off I've never pulled one of these off it's siliconed on so I have to re-silicone it which isn't a big deal but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling that off and go from there um, yeah guys so let's go ahead and see if there's a difference between the two and if there is, I need to figure out my solution because this is just one minor issue I'm having and the other issue I will go over it later in probably a later video. So I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this. To get this out, it is that Allen head key or Allen head uh, bolt has to come out that's right in front. I used an uh, 8mm. I don't know if that was the correct size because this sucker is stuck, but I'll get it off in a minute. So I'm going to now compare it to the one off the element and see if it looks the same. Okay, so like I said guys, um, doesn't look like this is going to work to swap them around. The front wheel drive 5 speed has that little arm. This one doesn't. So the lever right there is different. This one doesn't have that. Uh, like I said, 
I'm not exactly sure what that sensor is for. I'm just going to have to uh, not use it. My friend did say that is a, what is it? This here is a factory lockout only on six speed transmissions. Um, so, I don't know what to say. I'm going to throw that in there. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, I'm just going to toss that back on, re-silicone it, and I'm just going to lay that one back on there. And there you guys go. So if you guys run into that issue, uh, like I said, I'm still learning. I'm hoping this video does help you guys. But I'm just going to go ahead and set that back on there, uh, put the bolts through there and all that good stuff, and put this one back on to the all-wheel drive one. And I'm going to keep on rolling from there, guys. Alright, well, as you guys can see for yourself, there is no difference. Uh, as, well, these are different, but they can't be swapped over. I think I'm going to try this shift linkage bracket when I get the motor back into the car, rather than using those. If I run into any issues, I know I could just swap brackets, but for the most part, um, it looks just about the same. If anything, I'm going to use these nice washers rather than these crappy little plastic looking ones and the better cotter pins. But other than that, that's it, guys. So I think I'm going to, I don't know, I'm trying to think if I want to end it here or swap over the motor mount. Yeah, I think I'll end it here. Um, so that's that, guys. I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know. I don't know what's next right now. I got a couple different videos I have planned. So like, subscribe, share the video. Progress on the swap is on its way. And pretty soon it will have the all-wheel drive transmission in there. And also the other thing I did forget, the front-wheel drive element or CRV transmissions, they come with a block-off plate. If anyone has that, I want it. Because right now, that's one of the issues I'm having when I put the car back in. But uh, also, the front-wheel drive CRV or elements, they don't have the gear inside to, uh, to spin the transfer case. So if you get the front-wheel drive version and you're like, I'm going to go all-wheel drive, I'm just going to bolt up a transfer case, you can't. There's no gear to uh, spin the transfer case. So... Um, keep that in mind for those of you guys that ended up with a front wheel drive element K series or uh, CRV transmission. So keep that in mind. And I think that'll be it, guys. So I think that's it. Like, subscribe, share the video. More videos to come. Lots to come.